success for us is providing that, that great product to those who are in uniform. We have a core philosophy at American Rimetol, which is everybody's voice matters. If you start with that open culture, then it lends itself to basically the collaboration between engineering and former users. It's that culture of sharing, that culture of it is a team, and that we value each other's inputs in terms of how we move forward from a design perspective and engineering. But we're essentially taking that user experience, taking that knowledge, and incorporating that knowledge into how we can continue innovating and pushing the envelope from a technology perspective to serve the soldier. American Armatol Vehicles supports the Department of Defense and the U.S. Army, Marine Corps, and other uh, DOD branches. I think that most of us that are working in the industry, I know speaking for myself, it is gratifying to know that you're contributing to the Army, could be the Marine Corps or other forces, to provide them capabilities for overmatch and reduce cognitive load but it is definitely gratifying, satisfying to see that they were able to bring the 21st century into the warfighter environment. So I think that's one of the things that differentiates us from our competitors is that we put user input first, uh, and that's key. I was the 11th person hired at ARV uh, with the point of, hey, we need a, a field service person as well as a master gunner and those skills that come along with that. And as we've moved through that design influence, we've hired two new master gunners uh, over the last year. Uh, we're gonna expand that group here in the near future so we can add more of that expertise. That skill set of being able to plan a resource and be the subject matter expert on combat platforms. There is always several different ways of solving a problem. From an engineering standpoint, we tend to get really into the weeds on every little detail. The master gunners that we work with uh, really help us keep the soldier's perspective in mind and focus on a user-centric design. Something that's gonna work for them, something that's going to be easy to train, something that's going to be easy to maintain, and having their voice really keeps us on the right track. I retired as a Bradley master gunner, uh, completed 21 years of service uh, in the infantry. I spent eight years in the United States Marine Corps. I was in the Air Force for 24 years, a combination of active duty and reserves. I spent uh, about three decades in the U.S. Army. I was uh, commissioned as an officer in the Army in 2003. I studied mechanical engineering in school. Uh, one of the reasons why I got out of the military is I wanted to put that degree to use. After uh, my time in the Army, I transitioned into career as a mechanical engineer. Really kind of a keep it simple approach from some of our veterans who are you know, serving in engineering roles now and what they can do and bring from more of a non-technical approach, soft skills, to this hard technical piece where you have folks who've grown up as engineers and don't really understand the application piece. So it's a really good, happy blend of practical um, as well as technical. It's great because working on design, even if it's for a system that I didn't personally use because we're developing new systems, the applications are familiar to me. And so uh, being able to put myself kind of in the shoes of how would I use this equipment, it's a good context for it, understanding. The users are really the ones who understand what should happen and what the vehicle should do. And so having access to their knowledge, their experiences is, is super valuable. And when you take that input and you, you turn it into a, a feature or a requirement, it really adds value. So when the opportunity came up here that I could do what I want to do in terms of what I like to do as a master gunner, the jobs are very similar. I am influencing and I am aiding the, the, the future training, the future growth of, of a platform. I can do my dream job. So it's been a wonderful experience. I served in different operational assignments and then I got involved in uh, helping the Army design, build, test, and, and field uh, combat vehicles. I was also the original program manager for what's now the XM-30 combat vehicle, the Bradley replacement. Now I'm on the other side trying to deliver some of the, the vision that, that I at least had a small role in, in shaping when I was with the government. We really make a serious effort to listen to the customer and, and to try to give them what they're asking for as opposed to trying to talk them into buying something that we've already designed in the past. I was an Army engineer. I'm a class of 2007 from West Point Military Academy. I joined the Army in 2002. I spent a total of 32 years in the Army. I joined the Air Force right out of high school. I served in both infantry and military intelligence capacity uh, as an Army officer. I came to American Rheinmetall Vehicles because I was looking for a new opportunity. Uh, and I wanted a team that was not afraid to take risks. So I get to do that now with a team that is 
uh, changing and modernizing the way that combat vehicles are designed and developed and built. For me, it's really about the soldiers that will be delivering this capability to. Not, not just the soldiers, but the airmen, the Marines, the, the, the Navy sailors out there. It, it's important to provide them with the best capabilities out there so they can do their job effectively, efficiently, capably, and safely, and, is, and to bring them all home. There's a lot of respect given to veterans here, and I think it's very useful because the veterans are able to provide a voice for the customer that gives you a degree of insight that engineers might not have otherwise. It's really helping the soldier out, helping people that are there defending our country. I don't think there's any more rewarding feeling that you can get. I think one of our really key aspects is everybody here is pretty passionate. Passionate about their job, passionate about what they do, passionate about supporting those soldiers, those men and women out in the field who are going to be using our equipment. I'm very happy where I am um, and surrounded by the people that I'm surrounded with because we do share that vision and that passion towards the soldier.